Okay, so we've got two goals for this episode. Number one, we are in line for the Lost and the Damned. I don't know why, seeing as we're only occultists with quite low chaos. Um, are there just not many other members? Oh no, wait, there's loads of members. I guess we've just got the best score out of everyone. Yeah, look at that. Okay, because we have a uh, quick, shrewd, greedy. Learning 99. That's just the score. We don't actually have 99 learning. So, if we kill this guy off, we're going to be able to get to become the highest level and obviously give us access to these next two ranks worth of powers. Without having to wait six years and without having to save up the however much chaos we need. I think it's another 2,500 chaos. Which means we'll be able to expend that chaos instead using cults to infiltration on all of our provinces. Let's do that. Let's get this guy killed. We've only got 59% plot power on him, but... I honestly don't think that's too bad. I'm sure we can convince some people here and there to join us. Um, well, let's also invite plots for a start. Let's uh, send some gifts out. We've got a couple of people wanting to join. It's not like we haven't got the cash for it. We might have to wait a couple more months now just to get enough gold for the Immortality Potion. But that's the second goal of this episode, is to become immortal, become the head of the Lost and the Damned Society. I feel like that's going to set us up for a lot of good expansion in the future. Alright, let's see how many people want to join us. Um, so in the meantime, I'll let some time take just so we can build up the gold necessary to... Um, be able to fund our immortality potion, and our son was born. Uh, not actually too long ago either. Last month, he is uh, Gimli. That was a random name, so I left it with that. Uh, thank you, Mindil, for giving him a second chance. He's sickly, he's bright and plain, so he's a pretty bad character. We probably wouldn't want to play as him, but if this character becomes mortal anyway, that's not exactly an issue. Alright, learning magic with no tutor, uh, nor organization of learning experts, so back is no easy task. Let's keep buying books. I'm happy to keep mine books. Some of you have said that we need uh, much higher learning before it's likely that we'll succeed. So I think, uh, I think it was 2200, but I'm going to save up for 2500 gold just in case I'm misremembering. Um, we will commission the magic potion first, then we'll see if we can get some mages gear. So a major staff, mages crown, mages robes, that type of thing. Because I think they buff up your learning. And our merchant port is done. What's a month balance now? 126 from mostly tribal lands. Good. Right, let's find that elf. Karis Tal Hacken. And we want to say, uh, what is it? Craft magical item? Commission magical item? Where is it? Commission magical item. There it is. Why can't you do that? Um, you're already crafting something. What did I have them craft? Maybe I accidentally. I think what's happened is more likely I tried it to see if we get the immortality potion. And, um,. And they're still crafting, say, a healing potion or a beauty potion or whatever I ask them to craft just to get out of that menu system because there's no, you know, I don't want to craft anything button. All right, so this is from the Necronomicon. The book you bought from the strange Riemann Collector has proven to be quite useful in gaining new ideas and new insights into the studies of stars. Let's delve deeper. Now, this will give us the lunatic trait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was a healing potion. All right, let's try it then. Commission magical item. Uh, commission potion. Elixir of eternal youth. They've turned down the commission. All right. Is this going to be where I do a hard cut until they say yes? Because one of you said I can just keep pressuring them until they eventually do it. We do have a, a favor. It's a shame they haven't incorporated that so we could force them to do it for us. No, okay, right. I'll, I'll cut here and I'll um, come back when I've managed to get them to accept it. All right, there we go. That didn't actually take too long at all. It was four or five attempts, but they finally accepted it. They've taken the gold and we, we've got 523 left, which is pretty good because I wouldn't want to be left with no gold if the dwarfs attacked. We might as well go to war or something because we've got to wait 10 years before our character is going to get that immortality trait. We're 25, so it's not like we're going to be too old when it actually kicks in. Um, what do we want here? Um, legalism is really not going to do a lot for us. Legalism 5 gives us the ability to centralize. Maybe still tolerance, just to make it an easier conversion. It might not be too bad. What else have we got? Vassal opinion, seat vassal opinion, fuel vassal opinion, irrelevant while we're still tribal. And I think we're always going to be tribal because there's no option to convert. Let's go for legalism for now. Um, I don't mind going into construction a little bit. We're already getting more gold than we can actually spend. Uh, short of buying immortality potions. But I feel like that's a fair trade. Plus, I want those uh, hospital buffs for the tech points. Speaking of which, we haven't actually got a... Tribal government allows building hospital. I actually didn't know that. Well, you learn something new every day. I didn't know you couldn't build hospitals as tribal. Wow, I don't know how I'd not noticed that before. It's probably because whenever I do play tribal, the first thing I try and do is become feudal. So, um... Oh well, never mind. Even so, construction is still going to give us other boosts, like the actual speed it takes them to construct things is going to stack with the um, the whaling villages that we've got, so that's pretty fine. Uh, I will buy book more books and materials, and why don't we, this is what I was talking about, why don't we craft another magical item 
and try and get, say, Yunnan or something to make us magic items. What's a magic ring? Do you think that increases learning? It would probably help out temporarily while we wait for, um... We've got two rings of persuasion. We've already only got five diplomacy. Cruel, greedy, stubborn, paranoid, the Lieber, whatever it's called. Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, that's a bit annoying. Um, let's take this off for now. How have we even got five? We're shrewd and quick. Oh, well, let's finish this first. Let's not craft a magic ring. I'd rather craft an item we actually don't already have an item for the slot for. Let's go with the magical staff. Here we go, we get this shit again. Yinan's castle level is 1217483. Like I said last time, I think that means it's underflowed. So, plus three? Fuck it. Use power dice? Nothing. Yeah, I think that character maybe is completely broken. Let's try a different character. Um, someone I didn't invite to court. Are you the same issue? Now, I said I was going to try and fix this, but I thought that the only reason it wasn't working before was because we just didn't have enough gold. Now I'm thinking it might actually tr truly be broken. Yeah. This doesn't look good, does it? Oh, there we go. That one worked. Major Staff. Alright, let's have a look then. What does that do? Gives us plus two stewardship, plus one monthly party. That's quite significant. Um, moral Defense War. That's really good. It takes about weapon slot. But it does give 20% moral damage, 20% moral defense. I'm happy to use that. I think that's pretty good. So, that seems fair to me. Now, do we have any other... I'm just thinking rings. Maybe we go for the Intrigue rings while we've got this assassination plot out on um, on the head of the guild. Should help out a little bit. What's it going to take us up to? Seems we've got to calculate. Yeah, we're up to 24 Intrigue now. Let's see if we can invite anyone else. We're at 95%. That's frustrating. Uh, where is he? I'm sure we can just send our Spy Master there. He is the Prince of Pavona. King level title. Okay. Um, that's a pretty good... Uh, Intrigue, Spy Master. Yeah, you're actually the best we've got. Plus 7.5. So we're all going to get over 100% plot power on him. When it wakes up. There we are. 103.3%. So in theory, eventually that will fire. Um, please don't tell me about my air again. It's not relevant. Now the... Um, this was one large round. Under this character here. Quokar. Quachar? Sure. This was all one big horde. But it seems to have split up quite a lot. Well, that's fine. It's not like, I mean, we could invade the Chaos Waste. I think one of you actually left a comment on that. You're saying you could just head north and take the Chaos Waste. But, is there much point? It's not going to give us anything. It's going to take up a lot of our time. Um, Karis confronted me and accused... Sorry, cried the thief when Karis confronted and accused him of being a robber. Okay. Um, he's just a petty thief. I mean, I do care about that. I guess it doesn't matter too much, though. Let's see if we can commission something else, then. Um, craft magical item. Let's get uh, this lady here, because she's already done it once before. Magical item crafting. Let's go for the robes. We could try the Mage's Crown, see what that gives us. I know, plus two power dice. Go for it. There we go. Mage's Crown worked. And let's see what that gives us. Mage's Crown. Here's a crown. Learning plus ten. Well, I mean, that's incredibly overpowered, isn't it? What what we what have we got equipped in our crown slot? And the glittering scales. Oh, yeah. That's really bad compared to this. There we go. Right. Well, that's buffed us up a ridiculous amount. <laughs> 43 learning. All right, then. Let's see if we can commission one other thing while we're here. Uh, has she got, she's still got spell power. Okay, um, show previous menu, magic item crafting. Let's go for robes this time. Because we don't actually have any form of armor or anything like that. Now, I think the spell book was the tome. So we don't need to worry about that. But, I mean, plus two power dice has been working wonders for us. Didn't work that time. Let's try it once more. Uh, craft magical item. These menus. Oh, these menus. Um, it, I think this would have been better as a decision style menu. Obviously, I, I say, you know, I bring up the Outer Kings quite a lot. Their magic crafting menu where it changes the decisions menu. You can actually scroll through it like a list would fit this much, much better. Especially if they did it like a nested crafting menu. So we want, uh, what was it? Major's robes. Did I go past it? Yeah, there it is. And we'll try, I don't know, plus three power dice this time. No, nothing. Okay. Well, we'll leave it there then. I don't want to spend all episodes sitting here clicking through menus. The stars are right. One learning. An extra learning. Thank you. Just what I needed. And if you become a mystical scholar, that will obviously give us the learning buff as well. Anything that will help us learning magic, I'm quite happy to do. I don't actually know whether or not it's um, particularly overpowered or anything like that. I don't think it's the equivalent of, say, dragons in the Game of Thrones mod. I'm with child. Great. Can it be pleased better than this one? As time passes, you feel more and more restless. 
Changing your body are constraining you, turning what was once a mundane task into a challenge. It's been days since you've been out in the gardens. It's frustrating. She's been pregnant for like three days. Um, won't be long. I just have to maybe I can find some solace in the cellar. I'm gonna do that. I don't know what that does. Oh, she just goes into hiding. She's going through a particularly hard pregnancy. Oh no. Uh, so she's just gone into hiding essentially. Right. I see. How long is that going to be? Uh, you were right, after all. Drinking a little every night has helped a lot with relieving the tension. You start to feel a little dizzy, but it's not like you have anything important to do in the next months anyway. Um, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure drinking when pregnant is not advised. We may have just pickled this baby. Pickled wolf, anyone? That's fine. Um, get the trait brawny. Okay. Somebody asked, if you're immortal, what's the point of the wolf event? And this is exactly it. So the wolf event has lots of sub-events. It's, uh, it's a whole chain, essentially, that gives you wolf-like traits. So we are getting brawny because we are running around like a wolf, despite the fact that we're apparently locked in the cellar with a hard pregnancy. Brawny is obviously an incredible trait. Absolutely no downside to it at all. It's going to give us that health buff as well. Do you want to be a mystic or do you want to be a weird scholar? I'm happy to take mystic. Stewardship learning the same trait opinion. I think that's pretty good. Now we could always, once we're done with the Lost and the Damned... Is there not a mystic society in this? Hmm. Maybe it's because we are still a Norsecum religion. Well, obviously that won't be for much longer, because we're going to convert to chaos properly, eventually, when, the, when this guy's dead. Speaking of which, how are we looking on that? 137%, well that's pretty good. Uh, you want to join? That will take us up to 142.5%. 100 okay. Apparently my 5% of the game is 5% of very different things. The Regency has ended and we have a child. Uh, she came out sickly but quick. Probably all the alcohol. Um, sure, we'll keep her in... Uh, we'll keep her trend in thrift. Okay. I have to stop drinking so much. Oh, we became a drunkard. I didn't actually notice that. 50% um, chance of losing it. Yeah, I'd rather... Okay, well that's a shame. I must attempt to save my daughter. What was her name again? Good Laug? Sure. Thank you for giving my daughter a second chance. Right, betrothed can marry. Who is this? Is our half-sister who's going to marry? Oh, the, the Tsar of Kislev. Yeah, I remember doing this. Okay. Absolutely. He's a good ally to have. Um, why don't we experiment see what happens? What have we got now? 45 learning? Now, this is hindering our learning, isn't it? Oh, it hinders stewardship. Right. Now, if I mix this with that, we blow ourselves up and lose two health. We became fucking maimed. Hmm. Maybe some more books wouldn't have hurt, eh? Please do not die before you become immortal. We've got to wait another, what is that, eight years before the immortality potion is ready? Hmm. I hope I don't die in the meantime. Why don't we change? We've done with the scholarship tree now. Why don't we change to a more healthy, um, potentially something that's going to keep us alive? Let's go with theology. Because that not only gives us a health focus, it gives us a chance at losing some of our more negative traits, like cruel, like uh, drunkard as well. I think this might be friendship. Sure, we'll be friends with um, Conte Arturo. Who was he? Oh, one of the guys right down here. Is this uh, Telia or Stalia? I never know. This is... Uh, there we go, Telia. Right. Uh, he is giving us a mission. Sacrifice a holy person. Did we not already have that? I'm sure I already had an abduction attempt out on somebody. Oh, we're no longer in line to be the the uh, the high cultist anymore. Well, that's a shame. Um, not too much of a problem. We can just rank up manually through it. Oh well. We'll keep the plot going anyway, because it's just thinning out the herd, isn't it, at this stage? Um, We've got so much gold. Let's rank up. Uh, let's spend some of this cash. Uh, what do we want, then? Let's see. Minor hold, probably not a bad call. Levy size plus 7%. Market village gives us tax income. Not that's relevant. Go for a minor hold. Uh, we only hold three lands. Hmm. We lost all our domain, I guess, during the succession. That's fine. Not, not too much of a big deal. Uh, let's go for those being buffed up. Uh, where is that? Minor hold. Can also go with Reavers Den. However, that would be better after we've already got the... Um, we're not getting much benefit from buying that at this stage. Let's put it that way. However, the plus 7% will eventually stack up. How many times have we get that? Four times. So that will um, apply that percentage change to the men that we get from this as well. So it's probably worth building it in this order. And let's buff up our trade post too. Rudimentary trade offices gives us, uh, gives us retinue size. Can we even get retinues? I have a feeling we can, can't we? Rudimentary trade offices. And we'll go for a garrison as well, because it's not like... Like, all of our holdings will be upgraded, and we've still got 2,700 gold here. Um, how about laws? Tribal obligations? To low? I think she's been ruling long enough now where we've lost some of the negative malices from our 
previous character. Steps out of declared war. Well, that was our brother that we took the kingdom from. Short reign, still minus 12. Okay, I won't do that yet then. Status of women. Let's change that to significant. I don't see any reason not to put that to full. That would be very good because it gives us, uh, obviously, double the amount of councillors we can stack the council with. Double the pool to choose from, let's put it that way. It's my privilege, thank you very much. And we'll name you our regent, just to keep you on the side a little bit. Here's some gold as well. There's no harm in bribing our vassals at this stage, seeing as we've got, like I said, more gold than we can possibly spend. Uh, Master of the Horse, let's give that away to... Let's give that to you. Master of the Horse can go to anyone, so we'll just give that to you. Um, Herdman, again. Highest rank but lowest opinion is generally how I give away honorary titles. Okay, that's good. We're fine then. And been at peace for too long. Right, why don't we declare a war? We're still waiting for this potion to be done. It's going to take ages. We could declare war on the dwarfs. Good holy war then. The issue with that is it will give Norsecan moral authority. And as we're going to move away from the Norsecan faith and try and convert them, that might not be the best option. Could conquest, but we can only conquest their tribal lands, so it might be a bit pointless. What about Ragnarholt? It's an Ulrican. Can we holy war them if they're Ulrican? We can. Right, we can actually get a lot of provinces out of this. Look at that. Yeah, let's do that one. Holy War for Dismoon is going to give us one, two, three, four provinces. I feel like that's a fair trade. Let's do it. Call on allies, raise our troops now. Of course, we can more than afford mercenaries. So let's get a couple of bands going as well. Just to keep local economy. You know, I support local economies. Local mercenary bands. Might as well give some, give some back to our communities here. Deep in the night. For several hours now, you've not been able to sleep well. It usually starts at midnight. The howling of wolves outside. You toss and turn and sometimes go back to sleep. But the howling doesn't stop until late in the morning. Even then, as the silence falls, you miss the sound of canine voices on the wind. You feel restless. Not sleeping well. So again, this is, a, this is one of the downsides to being the uh, wolf-blooded character. Bit of a shame. I wish we would lose maimed. Oh, sorry. I wish we would lose uh, some of our temporary ones, like stressed. Maimed obviously can't heal. Now, I wonder if there's a way. What if we cast magic against her? Can we do that? Cast magic to, to maybe heal us? Um, this is a good menu. Very def very informative. Okay, never mind then. Uh, so it's not like the Game of Thrones where we can just grow back a new leg. Hmm, okay. Let's... Oh my god, what is going on with this text? It never stops. Night after night, the wolves keep howling outside. No one is sleeping well. Go outside and meet the wolves alone. I'll go out bringing guards... I think we'll go out and meet the wolves alone. The wolf pack. As you carefully approach the wolves alone, they stand and wait for you, absolutely still. It turns out to be a pack of about a dozen. As you reach them, they approach you one by one, smelling you and nudging you with their noses, growling softly. A feeling of belonging wells up inside you, and you, I think you feel a quickening throughout your entire body. We join the wolf pack. Great. Okay. Oh, this is this is interesting. Okay. Um, you've been running with the wolves for, for some while now. Keeping up to their pace, with their pace exerts you to near physical limits, but also makes you feel strong and alive. Okay. Eventually, your hunger sets in and you hunt. Do you want to rip, tear, and devour to give martial plus one? Is that permanent martial plus one? That seems pretty good. Oh, no, wait. That's just for a year. Or we can try and get temperate. Sure, let's try and get temperate. 30% chance. Why not? There we go. We got, we got it. That was pretty good. So, stewardship. It's pretty useful. Till we meet again. Diplomacy plus one and general opinion plus ten. So it's the same as Avali essentially having a uh, successful hunt. Also gives the cheery trait. You've returned after spending several days out in the wild running with the wolves. As you appear in court, people stare at you in all silence. Your coat, clothes... God, I can't speak today. Your clothes are torn and full of dirt, leaves and blood. Your hair is disheveled and your face has scratches and branches in the form of loving attention of your packmates. Okay, sure. Uh, but what perhaps impresses your subject most is a wild wolfish grin on your face. Blank rushes out to meet you, fussing over you and asking where you've been. I assume that's my husband. It's my own business or everything will be different now. Let's take that one. Everything will be different now. 50 prestige. That sounds like it might continue the event. So let's go for that. Alright. So. That was fun. Good work. I wonder if we can um, invite Disciple of Runa's Powers. Let's do that. I wonder if we can do penance. Now, obviously, the theology focus, you get an option to... Sorry, not do penance. You can go into seclusion, which is um, essentially where you go into hiding. That style of event. So you can't... You, you get rich and everything like that. But in a few days, you come out with potentially losing one of your traits. However, seeing as we're secretly chaos undivided, I don't think we'll, we're, we'd be able to do that. It seems a bit dissonant, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. 
It'd be nice to, seeing as that's partially the reason why I chose that, to get rid of some of these other crappy traits that we've picked up. So I'm just trying to kill my daughter. Life isn't too bad, we lose a trait stressed. Well, that's okay. Now, I wonder if immortality... Oh, sweet. The plot fired. And we are next in line. Come on, snake. Come on, snake, please. Put me in charge. Okay, they've got a lot of men, actually. We're, we're completely missing. Let's sort this war out before we do anything else. Right, you guys move there. Let's, let's merge this unit. Kiss that snake? Maybe not. We won. He's dead. Nobody knows. Let's put some commanders in front of this to get rid of some of this attrition as well. Uh, hasn't napped out a huge amount. 11% monthly attrition. There we go. When he's done screaming, I can finally talk again. <laughs> Leadership and guidance I shall provide. Alright, that seems like a, an appropriate way to become head of our order. We cancel that mission now, seeing as it's not particularly relevant. Alright, High Magus. We can use Cultist Uprising and uh, immediately convert all of our provinces that we've infiltrated into Chaos and Divided. How much do we need for that? 300 Chaos. So this is going to take some time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I could look at my round size, I suppose. It doesn't really help out too much, though. It's going to take a while. Let's put it that way. It's going to take a while. Let's buy more books and materials. Bear in mind, last time we blew off an arm or something. Alright, how's that potion coming along? We're 28. Actually, a lot of time hasn't passed. Alright, let's hunt down these troops before they get away. Awesome! There we go. I've been trying hard to figure it all out with no materials, no school, and no master, but you've made it. You can feel your power call upon you. Using the proper words and gestures, you're finally amazed. We gained Laura Fire. We gained Magic Power 1. Awesome. That's very, very cool. Morale damage plus 10%. That's what I was hoping for. Can we carry on with that? It Does that event continue? Can we learn other forms of magic as well? I wonder if we can learn all the different types of magic. Right, let's kill this army here while it's, um, whilst it's standing around. Now, for this other stack, I'm just going to hire some mercenaries. So I tell strength. Oh, they are actually the strongest. Okay. We'll have them kill these other ones here, and then these guys can start, uh, well, counter siege to start off with. What do you want? Sure. Don't know who he is. Doesn't matter too much. He's clearly not from the enemy, so, uh, vassals are losing us battles here. Goddamn vassals. Why is this one siege? Is this not to do with us? Oh, it's... Right, our vassal is trying to subjugate this island here. I see. Alright. Let's have you kill those. Our vassals are going to slow them down there. Sacrificial. Thank you very much. Alright, there we go. Is that one dealt with? Where are they going to now? Um, the only count is going to Vickiersburg. Where is Vickiersburg? Is it this one here? Yeah. Alright, let's go after that one. This shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Despite the fact that it's all fort holdings. They've apparently only conquered them recently, so they don't actually have much levies here. That's fine. And we had twins, actually. Should have had a look at those. And we get a trait gregarious because of our wolf pack. Or our, our wolf perk again. Very useful. Um, what are our children like? So we've got one that's quick. That's awesome. Let's give her thrift. And we had one that is bright. So not very good at all. Better than nothing, I guess. Alright, so we've caught them there. Might as well chase them back. And then set a route. I'm going to say go to here first. Move via this way. Even if it's slower. Because that way their army can only head next to a province that our army is already here. So we're going to catch them either way. We're either going to box them off here. Or they're going to move up past us. So we can kill the stack either way. They're actually going to move into us. Right. Interesting strategy. Can't imagine why they would do that. Well, there's most of our war score. Might as well finish that siege and chase them down. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why they did that. My commander. Oh, my heir. Well, he wasn't too great, so that's worked out in our favor, I guess. Oh, we might as well finish sieging this one. Uh, this guy, who are you then? He is a pretty minor horse lord. Wants to marry my half sister, whatever. Do whatever you want. Don't mind too much. Alright, minor cut there, because my phone was going off. Um, what were we doing? Right, we're at war. I remember. Um, how long until that immortality potion is done? Let's take a look. There's one thing I'm, that's the only thing I really care about at this point, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, where are you? You're this one. <sighs> There's no way to tell. Now, I did say that it's one with 35, so in theory, it's only another five years. So, we should be okay, I think. 
Alright, let's finish off this war. What is this? Disaster. Your fellow member of the Lost and the Damned, Un daughter, has been caught by Seer Ingimar. Valbrand's daughter, Af uh, that's too much of a long name. It's time for me to lay low. This option is available because you have the paranoid trait. That seems seems like a good idea to me. Okay, we'll do that. Alright, I think we can probably just assault this down and be done with it. Nope, apparently not. They are mercenaries, so I don't really care too much. If it was my own levies, that would be different. Ah, oh, damn, it's going to take ages now. I thought it was him offering us peace. No, this guy wants to marry... Uh, yeah, sure, we can do that. Let's do it. I'm absolutely fine with that. We almost done. Where are my where are my troops? Do they all die to attrition? Do we genuinely lose that many troops to attrition? Okay, well he's in prison. Thank you very much. I will take that. Perfect. All right. It's given us another. Well, that's given us a hell of a lot of land actually. Way more than I thought. Let's go and go ahead and give these away. Now, one cheap way we could convert to feudal is give away all of our land until we've only got one of these provinces left. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. It seems a bit pointless, especially as there aren't many feudal features, to my knowledge, for this religion. So, it's not intended. Let's put it that way. So, we don't want risk doing it in case we are nerfing ourselves into the ground. Right. Looking at retinues here, light cavalry actually have, statistically, on average, the best stats. So, let's buy a shitload of... Oh. Let's buy 900 light cavalry. It's better than nothing. They'll definitely bulk out our army somewhat. And let's, um... Let's go ahead and have a look at... Our trade post again. Like I said, we've got more gold than we can spend. We should probably spend it somewhere, though. Right, how long until that potion's done? Maybe I should take a hard cut and wait till we've got the potion of immortality before I do anything else risky. No, no. It's part of the game. We'll, we'll suffer through. Peasants are starting to... Yeah, yeah, okay. We went into negative treasure at some point. And what have you said that um, the, uh, the guy that gave us the Sword of Destruction, or the guy I commissioned the Sword of Destruction from... We should, in theory, still get that. So we will wait and see. But we haven't heard anything. I think that was more than 15 years ago. It actually might have also not been with this character now that I think about it. So I think the event might have just failed. Because there wasn't a correct character to target with the event. Not a big deal. Now, do we want to look for other artifacts? Because we haven't really done much of artifact stealing this campaign. Which is obviously one of the submites I've got enabled. One thing I always like to steal is the dragon from Athol Lorraine. Because one of these guys, yeah, there we are, has a green dragon mount. Um, steel artifact. It is actually there. Did we not try this before and die? Again, I'll wait till I'm immortal before we, um, before we do anything too risky. This is a great character and I really don't want to lose her. 44 learning is, is unbelievable. Okay, we're getting straight lost for. Fine with that. Not a problem. Alright, so what can we do? We can craft magical items ourselves from the intrigue menu now, so why not? Forge a sword, amulet, potion. Potion of healing. So we can actually say no to this menu. Okay. That's what I was checking with that. Um, can we craft ourselves some magical items? Now I assume this menu will get more expansive. This is what the other menu should be like, by the way. I assume this menu will get more expansive depending on how powerful we become. <laughs> Alright, so I've just learned a very valuable lesson. Let's untick the cultist uprising button. Not saying I might have just accidentally pressed that and had to reload. Let's not worry about it. Let's have a great blot instead. So I was looking through the magic menu, and I don't know if I'm going to keep this in, but so I'll just do it again for prosperity's sake. That, um... Prosperity's sake? Posterity's sake. That, um... We seem quite limited in what we can craft right now. Now, I'm thinking that maybe that's because we've only got magic power one, and as we become a better mage, we will be able to, um... Craft better items, obviously. I have to buy thralls, but it's not a problem, because we've got all the gold in the world. Let the celebrations begin. Obviously, by doing that, you don't get the other minor prestige and piety buffs for sacrificing actual prisoners. Um, that's fine, though. I'd really like to get rid of this maimed. Can we use a potion of healing? Uh, potion of healing. Dr drink. Drink the potion. Heal injuries or scars from combat. We are scarred, aren't we? No, I actually don't think we are. Okay. Maybe it only affects wounded or temporary... Um, temporary effects to... What am I trying to think? Like, temporary, um... Afflictions? Sure. That's that's not the right word, but we'll go for it. Seeing as we've lost an arm, I don't think a potion is going to grow that back anytime soon. Alright, can we craft anything else? Uh, you're still in our court. You're still making that potion, aren't you? Only five more years. So a little, a little bit of time tick. And now we have more than enough chaos to start doing some cultist infiltration. So I think... 
Now would be the best time to do it, as we're just sitting around waiting. Um, probably have a lot of edits in this video because of that. What we'll do then, is we'll start converting... We'll start in the north and work our way south, just so I can keep track of it easier. It does give a temporary modifier when it's complete. However, it'll just be easier for me to memorize it at a glance. In due time, these dark seeds will blossom. So, this is a very cool event that is part of the secret societies from the base game. What will happen is you'll occasionally get some... Um, well, the goal of it is to secretly have the province ready to rise up. When you use that intrigue menu option, uh, cultist uprising, any of the uh, provinces with the modifier infiltrated cultists or whatever it's called in this will instantly convert to your new cultural religion. Um, obviously, you, you use it for secret religions in the base game. But for this, we're doing it for the glory of chaos. Um, so... There are some downsides to it. You can get setbacks, which will cost you gold. So, for example, you, you fund more priests to, say, go around and convert people to chaos. You, um... I think you lose piety and prestige as well as, like, a cost for it. I think tech spread rate can also be affected. So, let's do it. We've sent an agent into Finsvik who's going to try and help begin the conversion. Now, we can do this multiple times. And it can take quite a while, so we want to get it done as soon as possible on these provinces. Now, it should stick around unless we die. Now, hopefully we're not going to die because we're going to have our own mortality potion. So, how? wow, we can do this a lot, actually, can't we? Oh, this is our last province. So, we've done the whole of the northern coast here. It's a pretty good start. Two times these dark seas will blossom. Now, I normally would only do it one province at a time if I was playing in the base game. However, because we're getting so much gold per month, it's really not that big a problem. So, the province that was to our east here is just completely split apart. Now, I used to the title, which caused it to fall apart because we had more than enough uh, du jour land there. And it turns out that the guy that held all of these lands only had this du jour title. And now we've taken it, his entire land is split apart. So I think this is pretty ripe for us to rip apart at this stage. Now, because there are single counties, or at least these two are, we can take these no problem. We can just subjugate them. This one, we could conquest it. We might even be able to force vassalize them. We do have enough prestige for that. So we could do that if that's something we wanted to. That would give us... A hell of a lot of land, and we would completely surround these dwarves. And as we've talked about before, it might be worth leaving just the dwarven capital so we can keep buying armaments from them. So I might swallow up all this land in the mountains besides just uh, Karak Furik here. Leave them around, so again, we can we can funnel some things out of them. In fact, can we buy anything off of them now? We've got more than enough gold to do so. Uh, nope, people are still buying things from them. Alright, let's go to war. Uh, subjugation. We might as well... Oh, we don't actually share a border with that guy. Weird. I was going to say, we might as well declare all our wars at once just in case they hire mercenaries. But you know what? We could just hire mercenaries and fight this entire war with mercenaries. March in between each province. Why not? I'm hiring way, way more men than I need there. Alright, let's do it. So, merge this unit here. We'll get all of our allies to attach to it. No, because they'll die to attrition. That's silly. Um, let's put you guys down, because that's not worth raising 40 men. Alright, let's have you go to there instead. So they're just going to stand and siege that. That's fine. How old are we now? 31. Four more years. Until the immortality potion, obviously. Okay. That was a very quick siege they managed that there. Won't matter too much. Again, these single province counties are very, very quick to declare war on. It's 51% war score just from that. Just from the one battle between their, their very small army. Pregnant, so we can't leave troops anymore, I guess. Um, let's not do the cellar event again. Do we want to be a falconer or a poet? I mean, it's 50-50% chance either way, because if you fail this event, you just get the option to become a poet. So let's start reading the book. Uh, okay, awesome. Diplomacy plus one. I think poet, in my opinion, is the better one anyway. It gives you some uh, unique events that you can use. Or unique responses, because you're a poet. Alright, that's one down. Uh, so now we can put our levies down and just immediately march into this province here. We'll use the uh, classic cheap tactics here. We'll move until we're a couple of days away so their army can't go anywhere. Okay, we can only force vassalization on these guys. Why is that? Oh, right, we use the subjugation caster spell rather than conquest, which we can only do once in a lifetime. Uh, not a big deal. I mean, who else could we have used that against realistically? Maybe Kislev? I'm not even sure if they'd, we'd be able to use it against them because they're an empire. Hmm. Oh well. Um, what can we use against this guy? I don't really want a tributary state, and I also don't want to use the force vassalization, because I think that costs us 250 prestige, but we gain 100 prestige if we win. So it's 150 prestige for a province. We've got 3200. Honestly, I feel like that's worth it. 
All right. Uh, so this is what I was talking about earlier with the cultist cells requiring support occasionally. So, 250 gold would normally be pretty devastating if you were tribal. However, we can more than afford it, especially across the province. There we are. Our efforts to establish a cell of cultists and entering is growing well, and the number of believers grows. So does our influence, and the more people turn to the powers of the ruinous powers. Or shall be ruinous powers is. Pow powers is. Yep, sure. Uh, I'll bring my favorite thumb screw. We're going to demonic outing. Why not? So if we go with, it's time to do the Shadow Lord's work, there's a high chance of rebellion kicking out. Let's do it. Leave them will please the Shadow Lord more. Because it's going to give us, this is the way to get the highest amount of chaos. So you um, stay behind and then leave up the dead bodies impaled on spikes. And then we'll immediately get a peasant revolt. However, not a big deal. Because once again, we are the richest people ever who've ever lived. That actually might not be too far from the truth either at this stage. Alright. Uh, you know what? You guys, you guys wait. Now that education event popping up has made me think I'm not actually educating any of my children, am I? So let's go ahead and uh, give them some educators. One of you pointed out that um, the education trait isn't relevant anymore. So I said, oh, this guy's Midas touched or whatever, which is good because obviously there's a high chance of child to be Midas touched. They changed that in Conclave. However, their stat still affects it. So I think if they've got more than 12 or 15... In the relevant stat, it increases the chance of them also getting a higher education focus out of it. So, still sorting them by Midas Touched or whatever is still a relevant thing to do. Um, who, what do I want this girl to be trained in? I gave her Thrift. So, realistically, either Diplomacy or Intrigue is the best one for that. The colours don't equate to anything. These education traits, you probably think, oh, that would be good for Stewardship. It's not. Conscientious, or, or sorry, I should say Duty, is probably the best one for... Um, Stewardship. This one is good for Intrigue or Diplomacy. This one is good for Martial. And then Faith is good for if you want them to have a learning education. Heritage is good sometimes. I've used Heritage when I was doing a um, a Jewish playthrough to restore the, uh, was it the 5th Temple, 6th Temple, whatever it is, in uh, CK2+. Plus because in certain dates there are just no Jewish characters capable. So it's, it's very good for assimilating heirs to their educator's culture. So, let's go with I don't know. Diplomacy? Why not, eh? Uh, let's find a half-decent diplomat with some good traits here. Uh, this guy's genius. So that's not bad. You'll do. Haldora. Alright. Do you guys want to hurry up and... Oh, shit. That's not good. Um, Vent spawn troops right on top of the stack. We can gain the trait poet. And we gain Scarred. Can we use our healing potion now and get rid of that? I don't want to because Scarred is just a good trait to have. Don't think you can... Still don't think we can use it, though. Uh, use artifact? No. Let's not worry about it. Seems like the morale on these armies is taking forever. Range Patrol, my half-sister to Prince San. Now, this is a Norsecan province, isn't it? We might want to do that. However, we've already got an alliance with Kislev, but that alliance can be broken quite easily. Having nested marriages might become a bit more of an issue, so we won't do that for now. He wants peace. Good plan. All right, there we go. Let's have a look at this guy, then. Uh, we can Holy War him because he's Slanesh. Done. Now, are we going to win that? Am I being too cheeky here? No, I think we could win that. Yeah, so luckily, because of those extra few days it took them to get over here, we'd already whittled away their morale. 67% war score already. Very, very useful. We'll move them south, finish their army off. In the meantime, these guys are ready to go now. To kill this peasant revolt before they siege my capital down. Shit, that was close. Okay. Alright, problem solved. Let's finish that one. And these mercenaries. I mean, we've hired them. Why not send them to help out with this? We're going to lose a lot of men to attrition over here anyway. Alright, let's just order an assault. And we had a daughter. Oh, she's genius and attractive. Wow, okay, fair enough. Thrift for you. And this girl wants peace. Thank you very much. That's a pretty good expansion we've, we've managed in this episode. Um... What about the dwarfs, though? So this is the same guy we actually just declared war on. What if we kill him off? Then it he Actually, his heir is our vassal, so we could just have him assassinate and take that land via uh, inheritance. No one else wants to join that? Hmm. The dwarfs. We were going to keep them around to buy armaments from them. However, every time I've tried to buy armaments from them, we haven't been able to. Might be time to get rid of them. We've only got 7,000 men. It's not like we can't beat that if we hire every mercenary band in the game. Okay, you know what? 
We've only got three more years. Let's get immortal in this video so next time I can do whatever I want and be as risky as possible. Alright, so it hasn't been the full few years until we were immortal. However, I thought this was worth leaving in. After much work and dedication to the ruler's powers and dark deeds, the cell of the Lost and Damned Cultist in Endring has grown far larger than what it once was. Believers in great number now revel in the darkness. So, that means it was successful. So if we go to the province of Endring now, which I believe is up here, yeah. If we look over that, we've got Undivided Cultist Cell. So what happens is, when we use this uh, Cultist Uprising, which we can't because we don't have Chaos, because I've been uh, doing it some more while we're waiting for time to tick, then when we use that, it will immediately convert from Norskan to Chaos. If we can do this across the whole kingdom... As you can imagine, it would be a lot, lot easier than trying to proselytize every single province or changing our rulers uh, into, say, high stewardship, chaos, and divided rulers. So, that's how it works. Alright, so an opportunity just popped up. This character here just appeared. Queen Order the Dragon of Calder. This whole province just became one and flipped over. So, again, we could just force vassalize here. I think this is too good an opportunity to uh, miss up here because not only would it give us... Obviously, these extra few provinces, but it gives us a way into Norsveg, which is the other largest uh, largest kingdom here besides us. I feel like this is too good to pass up. So it's going to cost us a thousand prestige, which is a lot. We gain a hundred back. However, we're going to gain, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six provinces? That's expensive, but let's do it. All right, let's call everyone in. Let's raise our troops. Now, I've been just doing just some upgrading while time has been ticking. I've been doing uh, doing some, obviously, infiltration. Speaking of which, Niflheim, Nilfheim gained undivided cultist cell. The majority of the northern part of our kingdom now is chaos undivided. Oh, oh, well, that's all right. I accidentally beat someone else's rebellion. You're welcome. Send them the bill later. Uh, let's hire some mercenaries as well, just to ensure things go smoothly. I want the balance seems kind of low. Hmm, maybe not. Alright, I should support them in their uh, chaotic ways. So let's have a look, just a brief look here and see uh, which, what is this symbol? It's like uh, the two, yeah, here we are. So only with that symbol, uh, Chaos and Divide at this point, as you can see, we've got quite a few already. It hasn't exactly been that long, only a few years. So the majority of those first coastal provinces we started to have uh, converted already. We've also got some, uh, some weird ones. So these ones I've already infiltrated all the way down to this line here. I think Steinvik was the next on my list, but we don't have any more chaos. I should provide all the support they require, but preferably not anymore, because my monthly balance is getting a little low at this point. Oh, that's a lot of men. Where do they come from? 4,000? Hmm. Never mind. Oh, they're mostly our vassals anyway, so... Fortunately, not a lot we can do there. Um, we could just reinforce into it and probably be fine. I probably shouldn't have disbanded those other 100 men or so. Are we going to be able to reinforce that in time? No, we're not. No, stay there. Don't worry about it. They had a lot more men than I anticipated. I imagine they probably used a uh, tribal uprising there. Let's take a look. Oh, it's that one. Bent spawned? Hired. Okay, they actually hired some mercenaries. Weird. Well, we've got 10,000 men on the way, so... In fact, we could probably take them now if we uh, go ahead and attack quickly. Get some commanders, as always. Oh, these are our best commanders. Wow. Um, let's take a look, then. Oh, Jesus, they're really bad. Uh, you're much better. And you're much better. Why did they... <laughs> we should probably stop auto-assigning commanders. Alright, let's try let's try these guys instead. 19, 16, and... 16, pretty good. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, we'll easily win this now. Not a worry. Okay, well this is going to give us a pretty decent amount of land. And then we've also got a choice. Do we want to take out these dwarfs, these dwarfs? Now, it also gives us another benefit of, if we were to attack these dwarfs, now they would easily, and almost guaranteed to be honest, call in their other Chaos Dwarf allies over there, because Chancellor will be Holy War in them, so they'll be able to no matter what. If they're not already allied, that is. Probably gives them even more of a reason. Either way, um, what we can do is say we Holy War these dwarfs, and took out these guys' armies in the process, it would make it a lot easier to siege their provinces, because their levy size wouldn't be added onto the garrison size. So that would help out. Um... This guy wants the Yaldum of Fenner. Where is Fenner? I'd rather not, seeing as I'm still under my domain limit. I suppose I wouldn't mind giving out um, pretty crappy provinces that we can't hold, like the feudal provinces. We have a plot against someone. Oh, it's the guy that is no longer relevant to us. 
Whoops, I approved the plan now, sending me. Yeah, it's the previous owner of one of these. Was it was it like this province here or something like that? Anyway. Let's start the siege. So hopefully these are all tribal. Someone else has started the siege here. Who are you? Oh, my vassal. Right, fine. Let's prevent us from assaulting. Okay, we can now. Let's do it. 43%. That's a good start. Let's take the capital, because it looks like they're all with someone else as well. So if we manage to take their capital before their other opponents, that will give us the most war score. Okay, actually quite a well-enforced tribe here. Look at this. They've got... Wow. They've done pretty well for themselves. I think our main capital of Finswick doesn't even have that much. So I just got it to up to uh, Luxurious Hold, actually. So now when we start building the Reaver Den, instead of giving us, you know, just 10 units, it's going to give us the plus additional 28%. So at the highest level, that's, you know, an extra 25% on top of what it's going to give us is quite significant. It's not insignificant, let's put it that way. <laughs> I won't build it up too much. It is still just going to be like a couple of hundred men at most. If you weren't, if you weren't playing with extremely overpowered trade posts, then it would be pretty significant. All right, that's what I meant to say. Well, let's check out the trade post as well. Rebuild it in my own name. Although they are going to be our vassal, aren't they? Because I think I forced vassalization on them. Are you not done with that potion yet? Surely we're close. 34. Yes. We're almost there. Um, make him disappear. The assassins failed. And he is still trying to fabricate claims on our titles. Doesn't matter. This war is over. That's given us a lot of land. Look at that. Awesome. We're quite a, quite a lengthy province now. I'm not happy about our name just being slung in the middle of it there. But that's fine. Um, right. Let's have a look at you. Because you seem to be in the middle of about 16 different wars here. Can we just... We can Holy War, and they are Slaneshi still. Um, they are descendants, I assume, of Queen Volca the Serpent. No, it's actually a different house. Okay. Uh, let's not worry about the mercenaries then. Like I said, let's wait till we're immortal. Before we do any more crazy campaigns. We are no longer maimed. How did we lose maimed? Did we drink a, a healing potion? Well... I'll open the console. Not that it might prove anything, so I obviously might have cleared the console. But I definitely didn't get rid of Maimed. So I'm genuinely interested in how that's happened. I think maybe it is one of the healing potions, because we did have two, didn't we? So maybe they drank it automatically. Maybe that's what healed over and gave us Scarred? I don't think Maimed could heal, though. Hmm. Alright, sure. Glory to Chaos. Mount Hellspire becomes Chaos Undivided. That seems appropriate. How far off are we? 35, so it's got to happen sometime this year. Time to dust off my acting skills, a decadent feast in the idiot's name, and more moral authority eroded away. Poor Norskin. Please don't get ill. You're just about to become immortal. Don't do it. Syphilis? Well, that's not the worst that could have happened. Glory to chaos. Fatigue. Oh my god. Let's invest some tech points, by the way. Trade practices. Absolutely. Um, seek treatment for our illness. Very well. Early stages of gout. Health plus two, that's pretty good. And glory to chaos, obviously. Why don't we do some more cultist infiltrations and while we wait for this final bit of health potion, or final bit of time before the um, uh, immortality potion, that's what I meant to say. Cultist infiltration. Alright, that's pretty good. Worked our way down to the south coast here. Now, to be fair, we... Oh, it's only gout, who cares? We could use our um, cultist stop rising now and probably be absolutely fine. And we had a daughter called Ragnar. Oh, we had twins. Look at this. She's really good. Brilliant. Attractive. You're, you're incredible. Um, I'm still going to train them all just in a generic one for now. Because I don't really know what I want to do for them. Oh, shit. We're incapable. Turns out that gout really knocked it out of us. Um, I'm going to have this go training this genius man. And we had a quick and attractive child. Is that quick? Oh, that's smart. Right. The light bulb's not quite on. I must pray to the serpent. Please don't die. Oh my god. Troubled pregnancy. It's not a health minus. And we're getting positive from uh, successful treatment. We should be okay. Oh fuck. We're getting a trait weak. Well, that's not good at all. I wonder if we could take a, a potion or something that would fix that. My kinswoman. So, 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 sure. Ice swim pass. Where is ice swim pass? Um. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, we'll just march over to the other side of Kislev and uh, take that title. Come on, surely we're almost done now. Where is our Where is our elf? Elf. Is the potion almost done? Craft a magical item. They need to add like a temporary trait so we know when it's going to be done. Surely it's done this year though. 
And we had a Slaneshi uprising. Where is that? Must be one of those new provinces we took. Oh, God. 5,000 men. That's quite a lot. Alright, we get some mercenaries. Problem is, they're all probably going to have uh, attritioned into the ground by the time we get over there. That's fine. It shouldn't take too long. We could actually send a boat. We'd probably be quicker if we sent a boat up to this Norskan province. Um, when we go for tolerance again. Here we are. A elixir of eternal youth to our treasury. Did that say can be used on anyone but yourself? I'm sorry? Did that is that what that just said? Um tr use artifact. Hmm. I feel like I've been bamboozled. That just gives health plus one. <laughs> um Intrigue menu maybe? We have the option to become celibate. You faced a particularly troublesome pregnancy, next could be lethal. Yeah, I agree. Let's do that. Um Right. Well. That was a bit anticlimactic. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um Thank you for watching. Why am I not immortal? You tell me. See you next time. God damn it.